All right, what's up, guys? Um, it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I just finished my day. My eyes kind of red, you know. Got some grass in there earlier today, but um, uh, look at my trailer, guys. I mean, this just got the best of me, man. You know, so what I'm doing now is I cleared everything out. I'm go ahead and blow my trailer out. Uh, last time you guys saw it, I didn't have this up there. I didn't make a whole video because, I mean, it's pretty basic. I mean, uh, you pretty much just put uh, these three screws on the wall. Uh, and, you know, these are tack screws. Metal plates right here. And then these are just pretty much on the wood. But, um, you know, it has a cutter. Yeah, this is a Green Touch product. So, you know, you have your cutter there. Um, so that's pretty much all I've added onto the trailer, which is... Um, what I said I was gonna put there when I did get that everything else is the same I'm showing you guys this because I have a bunch of new product now green touch product that I'm gonna set up uh, I got the gas tank racks. I got the two gallon and the five gallon um, I got uh, This thing where you bolt to the floor. It's not a green touch product, but you bolt it to the floor and then um, it locks your wheel when you when you park your uh, your mower in and out, and then you can just take it right out and it unlocks. So it's super convenient. I don't have to no longer get down here and strap it anymore. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm gonna show you guys that and how I set it up. First, I'm gonna clean the trailer out because the trailer's a mess before doing anything in here. Um, what else did I get, guys? Um, I got the uh, the sprayer backpack rack. Um, so I'm gonna set that up, and then I got the uh, green touch up. Uh, the uh it's like a hook system i'm not sure what it's called uh, but it's pretty much where you can put all your rakes and your shovels and it's uh it's just it all goes in like aligned in one space so it saves you a lot of space it's not the one that's that's parallel like this uh, there's a couple couple things guys um so i'm gonna i'm gonna show them to you guys as i'm opening them up setting them up uh i still gotta figure out where i'm gonna put everything i'm big on space you guys know that um so obviously it's gonna be everything's gonna be strategically put on. I'm just not just gonna throw it on, on on my walls. Um, but uh, but yeah. So and uh, also I did take some pictures of this guys. I'm gonna put it on Instagram so you guys will already know about that I have these. Uh, by the time you watch this, but um, the arms grip. Awesome. Uh, it's the first day I use it. Um, I tell you what. I, t I will tell you, saves your back. Uh, my back always gets sore mid mid trimming. It just gets sore. Uh, once I'm done trimming, I get in the truck, it goes away. But you know, every house I do, every time I, I start trimming midway, my back gets sore. My back did not get sore all day today, guys. Uh, Cause I didn't bend down at all. But my arm did get sore, my left arm. Uh, so get ready for that one. It's not a big deal. Uh, it's just, I guess I'm not used to it. But you know, cause you do hold it up more with, with this arm. So having your arm in that position is gonna get it sore. But I'd rather my arm get sore than my back any day. So it is a good product. I'm definitely gonna keep it on there. I got two more, I got the three pack. Um, so when I get more uh, more trimmers and a better edger, I'm not gonna put on this edger. Um, then I'll, I'll go ahead and have them on, on all my product. And then if you see right now, the way I got it set up on here, I, I still have enough space to put my other trimmer here without having this interfere. So if that makes any sense. So that, that worked out pretty good. I'm not sure if the other ones are gonna work out the same, but I guess we'll find out once we uh, we get them up there. Okay. So with that, I'll leave you. Um, next time you see my trailer is gonna be all nice and cleaned out. I'm gonna blow everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage since I have my right out there, blow that down. It's been a while since I've blown it. Uh, but yeah, right's working awesome. This thing's a beast. Um, it's just a residential mower. It's nothing big, but it it's a beast, man. It, it's lightweight, it's not heavy, um, and it, it chops, guys. I mean, this thing, it's self-propelled rear wheel. So, I mean, it, it, it's done some pretty nasty cleanups with me. Last season and this season's already proven itself to to definitely um, um, definitely handle the work. So I've um, got my shirt cans over there, which they're gonna be on the wall now. Uh, five gallon and two gallon. Yep, all right, so I'm gonna get to cleaning.
in your trailer, guys. I don't know who that is. Alright, so this is what I was talking about. Power lock. So I got this from uh, Ballard Incorporated. So yeah. Once you just uh, drive right into that, and then it goes up and locks right in there, and you just roll right out. Be super convenient. Set up. Here's the stuff it comes with: instruction manual, Some sort of bracket, I'm guessing. This is what's going to go onto the trailer floor. Uh, I'll look at the section manual now. Seems like the bracket system. I've already marked the floor where I'm going to put it. Um, so, pretty much, I want the right to be more this side so I can have the push more next to it. Um, and then I just have. Still a pretty good amount of walking space and I want to use the door, so I'll let you guys know how it comes out. I'll show you. What's up, guys? I'm losing sunlight here, but uh, there it is. Not too bad. Pretty basic. Very easy, actually. Um, guys, I didn't even read the instructions on this. It's just, it kind of makes sense once you looked at the picture, how it should go. You have two brackets, like I mentioned before when I was opening it. Two brackets go drilled into the floor. You gotta get underneath your trailer to put the bolts. Um, from underneath, I already did that. This, this thing ain't going nowhere, guys. Um, and then this, obviously, is uh, you adjust it to the height of your wheel. Um, this goes down when you park in, goes up. This is what locks, this is what keeps your, your wheel locked in. So you actually. You obviously tighten that once up. You got your height. Um, you haven't set anything else up. They have like these uh, spring, these spring things that go in here. Just keep it in there. Can happen. Um, but I just want to show you guys this part so far. And um, super easy, guys. I mean, hey, it hasn't taken me long at all. I mean, probably been here 20 minutes, and I'm pretty much done. Okay. So here it is. Um, Works great. Like I said, you just drive in and out. And this is what hitches down, and you gotta make sure you take it out, pull it out. Uh, to pretty much unlock it, you got two hitches. Uh, they're both unlocked, I don't think I'll be locking them. Um, this pretty much holds it down. Uh, as long as you got your brake on, it's not gonna roll back. So I think um, I'll just leave it like that, ready to just pull in and out of it whenever I need to. Uh, next video, uh, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and uh, and do a video of me up driving in, in and out. It's getting late on me, guys, so barely got sunlight. I'll take care of it tomorrow. I'll show you guys uh, when I go do my route. I'll try to do a quick video. Um, what's up, guys? So here we are next day after installing the power lock on the mower. Um, like I showed you guys, um, very easy setup. Not too bad. I got this thing it is cold, wet, and rainy outside. Uh, so it's a perfect day to work on my chair, to continue working on my chair, actually. Um, not much is gonna get done out there. <clears throat> I've had these things pending anyways. I've had all these boxes in my house, I haven't been using them. Uh, so, might as well get them up, guys. Get them up. Uh, it, it'll just increase productivity anyways. Um, and like I said, I was gonna show you guys how it works. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen this already. Uh, this is the video they always show anyways, it going in and out of this uh, this mechanism here, but I'll show you how mine works.
Uh, so you can imagine how much uh, easier that is uh, to drive it in and out, guys. You're gonna save me a lot of time doing it that way. Um, I no longer have to use straps to come and strap it. Just park it and go, man. Get on and go. So super excited about that. Save me so much time. Uh, save my back too. You know, I don't have to be bending down doing straps. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, this guy, I am gonna strap him down because um, I don't want him moving around uh, everywhere. Uh, right now, I kind of just put the spare tire behind him so he doesn't get out of there. But um, I do plan on putting the spare tire on the wall anyway. So I'll probably create some type of um, way to strap it to the wall there or the floor. I do have a, one of those things right there. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I barely use them anyways. It's not like I, I use them on every yard. So it's not going to be that much of an inconvenience if I do have to use it to unstrap it. Um, unlike this one where I, I use it on every single yard I do. So um, uh, so this was definitely a, a good good buy right here. Um, and then now I brought everything. If you guys have my Instagram, you've already seen this before. I took a picture of it, showed you guys. Um, so these are what's where all my racks and my shovers are gonna go. And like I said, the one that's inlined. So take up less space. Uh, I think you put up to three, maybe four four racks and shovels i'm not sure i know three for sure which is fine because i just happen to have uh two rock rakes uh a regular rake and two shovels anyway so that's more than enough with that uh I'll be, i got two of those so that's why you got two boxes once open already and then all these guys right here like i mentioned before guys the um two gallon the five gallon uh sure can um and then i forgot to mention this i also got this box which i'm pretty excited about because it locks up so i can put a lot a bunch of stuff in there um tools and, and uh, uh, extra oils and just things like that i don't want um misplacing or anything like that um i don't plan on putting like a combi system in there and i don't think it's big enough anyways it's not that big um i, I do want to invest in a combi system where um I can get a, a bed redefiner, a cultivator, um, and, a, and a pole saw. Um, these are things I barely use in my business because I'm mainly um, lawn care, but every now and then I'm pretty sure, um, you know, some, something will come up where I, I could use one of these things, but I do just plan on, on hanging them in line here. Um, the whole combi system set right here right next to each other. So when I do need them I have them all right here conveniently on the wall hanging in line um, I'll have space for it because um, Pretty much almost have everything already up that I want anyway, so might as well um, And then this guy too um, The backpacks for rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and start opening stuff up setting things up um, I kind of got everything out right now and like measuring on the wall I was measuring on the wall guys with the actual like the gas tank and stuff so you know, I gotta go get my spare and see if it's gonna fit but um I think everything's gonna turn out pretty good um I'll keep you guys posted okay thank you